Back and forth and back again we go. Here's Key inside, lost the handle. Pushed ahead to Matt Fox. Rolls it over the front of the rim. 13 for Matt Fox. Stan Jufflin, 30-second timeout. The AW side of the gym on their feet. Conrad makes his presence. He knows one of the smallest guys on the court for Anthony Wayne. He comes up with a big basket. And then a quick turnaround. And in transition, gets a nice feed underneath for another easy basket. And a uh, quick burst here by Anthony Wayne. Taking advantage of a couple of lax opportunities. See the quick pass up. He lays it off the glass and in. Then the quick pass on the inside to Fox. And he finishes just like that. You have a 26-22 game. Doesn't sound like much, but four points either way. Big swing. As the way it's for the last six until that three for Mark six. He can really hit it from the outside. That stops the bleeding. Springfield back to within one. That's big. All that work done by Anthony Wayne on two possessions. Almost wiped away in one. Nice no-look feed to Johnson, who airballs the mid-range jumper. And the Springfield students letting him know it. Wow, nice hands. Good rip by Hicks. Too much on the jumper. Durden got his fingertips on it, but cleaned up by Hunter Johnson. Well, he didn't score, but what a job by Hicks to even maintain possession. Matt Fox. Third three of the game for him. He's got 16 points. You know, just when you think that he's out far enough to let him go, he launches it and pushes it through. Mason Durden couldn't answer back. Another rebound for Johnson, who's given them a big lift off the bench. Well, you know, if a couple of guys get hot here in the second half, this could be a very high-scoring second half. Both teams with 20 at the break. Things might loosen up here in the second half a little bit. Jacob Yunker got position on Roy, who blocked it. And it stays with Anthony Wayne. A nice block, but Roy just didn't stay strong with the ball. No, he's upset about that, but he did a nice job. You can see Fox. Look how far out he is. He's up, up by midcourt. Two of his five threes against Perrysburg on Tuesday were from the volleyball line. So was that one. When he gets the ball, you expect him to shoot. But he has so much confidence with the shot. And that's what, the, you know, as a shooter, you have to have that extra confidence. Jake Reed with a long two. Reed now with nine, and the lead back up to six points. After a low-scoring first half, Anthony Wayne has scored 11. So far in the second half, and that's an offensive foul on Mason Durden. Jacob Yunker took the charge. Nine turnovers now for each team. Let's look at it again. Set, feet set, arms down, took the hit. He was away from the basket. That's a charge every time. Mason Durden, no points, but four turnovers. DiMaggio Wiggins is now in for Springfield. We'll see if he has the same impact in the second half that he had in the first. He was dragging his foot there. Poked away from behind by Hicks from Fox, but picked up in the corner by Jake Reed. He's got Wiggins on him. Fox off the mark. Missed that one badly, and Manny Durden ran it down in the corner. Yeah, bad for him, he's hitting the rim. One end to the other, popped off the back of the iron. Wiggins, the rebound, and put back in his line. Stand on the bench. Well, he's come up huge, and he's got, he, he gets himself in good position. Has good anticipation. Springfield, that'll get Tevin Stewart off the bench and into the game. Second on Mason Durden. Who has not had the best of games at 15 against Anthony Wayne the first time they met back in January scoring with tonight. Sometimes they just had you know, in the first half he had that difficulty turning the ball over and traveling. 
and it gets to the back of your head. And if you can't get rid of it, it messes up the rest of your game, too. Inbound to Fox. We got the offensive rebound, danced down the front of the rim and dropped. 18 for Matt Fox. Seven in his third quarter. He has height at 6'3", he has, has length. We saw down there that time, he has some good ups too. He, he can get up in the air. Marquis six on the tank. Too much, and grabbed by Reed. There goes Fox, up ahead, Cullen Conrad. Let's quickly up the court. Springfield not getting back on defense, but good passing by Anthony Wayne, and Fox giving up the ball for an easy basket on the right side. Anthony Wayne lead is eight. The A.W. students getting brave, chanting, we can't hear you, and that's a turnover. Manny Durden carried it. And Joplin goes to the bench. Mason Durden comes back in. You see it called very often. I think it happens more often than not. But here we see that quick outlet by Reed. The Fox and then a quick pass on the wing. That's how you run it in practice. Conrad blocked by Wiggins. And back come the generals. They have numbers. This is Hicks up to Mason Durden. He drives from the free throw line. And drew the foul. Maybe that'll get them going. Uh, Jacob Yunker. First on him. Yunker took the charge. Last time he did that, couldn't quite get set on that occasion. Well, he wasn't quite lined up with him, and he got it himself caught. Getting nipped on the side. Well, you can't leave Poise at the line. Big Merzak back in. Did the Springfield students don't forget that he airballed a free early. He splits the pair. So some pressure here now, but Anthony Wayne's able to pass out of it nicely. He handled the ball well. Jamar Allen driving. Pops out. Read the offensive rebound. Stick back won't go, and Wiggins clears it. And the foul is on Jamar Allen. Well, they're going to get Allen, but Allen took the elbow and the, the draw. See right here, there's a little off-balance shot. And you're going to see an elbow, boom, right there. I, 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 all, I thought that they were going to call Wiggins for throwing that elbow. And just a foul for grabbing the jersey came first. Mason Durden, another offensive foul. And again, Jacob Yunker is the player for Anthony Wayne who takes it. Let's watch. Yep. He came over, weak side help, set himself, shoulder to chest. been attacking the basket a lot more here in the second half trying to get the ball to the rim Durden went for the steal and as he did so Brian Borchard with Anthony Wayne calls timeout it's a 30 with 148 left in this third quarter you know with Fox you know when you have to con contest Fox on the outside that spreads out the defense and you have to pull out a little bit that allows you extra lanes to the basket the Toledo Metro League and BCSN present high school bowling from Southwick Lanes every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Follow the high school bowling season frame by frame to see who will claim this year's league title. It's been a fun Toledo Metro League season. Whitmer, Bowser, Clay, Start, all up there. Just a few more weeks into season two. This, uh, this pressure defense, this full court pressure, which has made a big difference for Springfield. Hicks couldn't get the shot off with Jake Reed in his face. So he's going to get some company now. In the lane, ran into 
trouble there. Stripped and did. And here's Conrad, two on one. Oh, Kane with the block. Are you kidding me? Holy smoke. A two-handed leaping stuff. The pocket gets picked. Looks like an easy basket with whammo. He never gave up on it. So that's what you call coming back after a big mistake. Or a miscue. But then he committed a foul before the ball could be inbounded. Stan Johnson won't be happy with that. No, if you balance two shots the rest of the way. Fox at the free throw line. Stan says no, 44 sh should be shooting. All he can do is turn and smile. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony Wayne back in the lead. That Fox has 21 points. Donald Graymeyer replacing Hunter Johnson. Yeah, Springfield wanted anybody else but Fox at the line. That's been the difference, I think, so far. Just that the two-point difference has been at the foul line. Springfield's left a handful of points at the foul line. Dirt into the basket, blocked by Jake Green. We get some turnovers and baskets in transition. And Fox just brings it up by himself, no problem. Fox inside for Reed, turns, no good over Wiggins, and grabs the rebound. Boy, another good look by Reed, down on the baseline, just left a little short. The legs might be getting a little wobbly here, Mason. Double overtime. In the corner, it's Mason Durden. Too much on the triple try, and Reed there to clean it up. Mason Durden still with just two points, but those two came on the basket that sent this game into overtime. It's tied in at 46. Box flashed open and scores. A long two, 24 points for him. It's been a while since we called his name. That was a, a, a nice turnaround jump shot. Very smooth. Go to your money, man, when you need the points. Hicks has three threes. 11 points. Manny Durden with 20. Wiggins with 10. John Key with 9. Durden forcing the issue. Fuck through. Contact offensive. on the bucket. 44-44. And 22 for 24. Good tenacity there. He did fight through a lot of contact, got his own rebound, another putback. Putback points by Springfield have been plenty tonight. They've been killing Anthony Wayne on the offensive glass. Yeah, those putback uh, points off shots. Huge. You usually get pretty good looks. He's got to be careful. Third ball is that pop little baby reach. That was almost a cheap fifth foul. Fox, same spot as before. Oh! Again, it's a long two. But the Anthony Wayne lead is now two. And a big two. Big shot by Betts, coming out of that timeout to get this lead back to single digits. It's usually back to 10 for the general. Commits this run by, by Perry, where they've gotten contributions from multiple people on the scoring end. Muschetti, Quinn Thomas in a three, after the floor, and now Kaczynski gonna go to the foul line. Coach Dorsey wanted to travel, but he shuffled his feet before he got fouled. Here it is again. Let's watch it. What do you think? It's hard to see. To be honest, it's hard to tell. Yeah. 
from where we're sitting there, but the official has got to make a decision quickly and you let it go. Second free throw goes down for Kaczynski, so he splits the pair. He's got five points all coming here in the second half. Nice pass by Jake yeah, Reed. Fox. Reed to Fox. Nice give and go action. Ball goes into Jake Reed. Fox slides in behind him on the baseline. Nice catch and finish. Ten points now for Matt Fox. Hafner again. Tried to dump it down to Kaczynski. And Hafner did a great job on that nice hesitation drill to get into the lane. Right idea. You go to Kaczynski because he just wasn't ready. Ball out of bounds. They have to get this lead back. Already has it down to nine. They get it down to seven here. Six minutes to go. A lot of time left. Drive to the basket by Fox. And he is fouled on the play. See who they got here. Kaczynski. Yep. Nice job by Matt Fox. Obviously, he's, he can get any look at the perimeter that he wants. Had some success here. This evening, this time put the ball in the depth. Thought the defender flat footed, they will get the line. That's Kaczynski's third foul. So Fox is able to knock down both free throws, give him 12 points. And the lead is down to seven. And the Anthony Wayne fans are on their feet. Here to come back. Muschietti backing down Fox. A little turnaround jump shot stop there. Fox has the rebound. So Anthony Wayne is not going to go quietly. Fox is three. Bingo! The bingo! Big shot, Matt Fox! He cut the four at 5.20 to go. General's back in it. You love it. You gotta love it, Joe. You got, you got the, you got the big time players. Generals are on a 7-0 run now. Make it 9-0 to go back even further. This was a 13 point Harrisburg lead. Big basket coming out of the timeout by Patterson. He's got 16 now, Rhett. He's been a force down low. He really has. He gets such deep position on the inside. Nice job coming across the baseline there. Sitting down with the catch and finish. Another three from Best. That one didn't go down, but Anthony Wayne, a big offensive rebound. Little pull up jump shot in the lane. Another offensive board. One more time. It's a jump ball. Things are getting a little chippy. Possession error will keep it with Anthony Wayne. Nice job on the glass here by Jake Reed. Yeah, Jake Reed has produced up on the offensive glass again. Had a great look at a layup. Just didn't able to get it to go. But him and Kaczynski went after that ball. You gotta love the intensity out of both these basketball teams here in the last four, four and a half minutes. Almost a steal. Now it is. Clint Thomas got his hand on it. Backdoor look to Muschietti, drives baseline, gets a shot blocked and out of bounds. Another big deep in the play, that time Michael Betts. Yeah, nice job. First of all, I've to spread the floor, Muschietti got a layup opportunity to give Betts credit. Betts has knocked down big shots here tonight, there's a big defensive play on his part as well. Muschietti gets in tight. Got it. Not much you're going to do there. Fox is trying to play, Muschietti knew he's right on his hip. Gave a little head fake, stuck inside off the dribble. Got it to go for Perrysburg. 17 now for Muschietti. And Anthony Wayne calls a timeout. We'll keep it right here. It's just a 30-second timeout. Okay, coming out of the last timeout, Perrysburg has made a little run now and at least stopped the bleeding, and the lead is back to eight points. And they've done a nice job. you got to love the way both scorers for both teams, Fox and Nick Muschietti, how savvy they are on the offensive end to get their shot. And they get up, they're also very unselfish. That defense collapses, they find the open man underneath. But such great basketball IQ, basketball savvy on both on both primary scores between these two basketball teams here this evening. What a great game to be a part of. 
As Getty has 17, Patterson has 16 for Perrysburg. Matt Fox has 15 for Anthony Wayne, but you and I were just talking about the contribution from Matt Kaczynski. Yeah, he's got a lot of time with rebounds and he's donated five, skipped in for five points, I shouldn't say, but this workmanlike effort on the boards. And even on the rebound that he didn't secure, he kept the ball alive for a teammate to run down. He's, a, he's played big here in the second half. A lot of times it's not necessarily the leading scorers that are the difference down the stretch. Guy that can get a big rebound or make it steal and seal the game. Well, both leading scorers on both clubs have come up big, 17 points from Muschietti, 15 for Fox. But it's been the second leading scorer on both clubs. It's really there's been a separation or a difference. Patterson coming up big on the interior compared to a 16, and Jake Green right now is sitting at six. Both teams have gotten marginal contributions from the scoring column anyways off of their bench. Conrad bets primarily for, for Anthony Wayne. Hackers come off the bench and done a nice job for Perrysburg. So again, we go back to our free throws, and these are something you practice all summer long in your driveway, and that was no good. And now a steal, good quick hands by Patterson, tips it away, but steady, and Thomas is in no rush, and he gets fouled on the far side, he'll make another trip to the free throw line, Conrad guy. Yeah, now, Harris, like you said, critical part of the many basketball game if you're trying to seal a victory is you're going to have opportunities at the foul line. Quinn Thomas came up empty, possession to go, and it's time to redeem himself here with a minute 26 left. Thomas has three points tonight. Make it four. He had a big triple to kind of create some separation in the score, in the, on the scoreboard between these two teams. Out of that left corner, as you mentioned, this is a big basket here because this will make it a four possession game and it's still just three possessions. Nine points is the lead. And if you're Anthony Wayne, you can't take too much off the clock. Long three, no good, but Betts is there for the rebound. He pulls up, tip back out, another offensive rebound. Fox for three, got it. They needed it, and he got it. Yeah, good job by Anthony Wayne, keeping the possession alive until so they got the ball to Matt Fox, who knocks down the triple. So it's now a two-possession game. Fox has three more. 47-41, and what do you think Coach Borcher is telling his crew in the Anthony Wayne huddle? All well, right, now he's going to dial up some full-court pressure here, whether it's man-to-man -man with a run-and-jump situation. Here you see Conrad, a nice feed to Fox. Gets a man-to-man, -man, full court action, run and jump if you have the opportunity to run and trap or they're going to go into more of a zone press where you try to speed up, try to get a trap, try to speed up Perrysburg guards, make them make some soft.